So thank you so much, Ozzy. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But yeah, um, I know not everyone is, is interested in Pokemon. Honestly, maybe this Pokemon game is for you. This is a fan game by, made by Actasus Reign, one of my favorites of all time. And I thought, might as well share that love with you guys. This is version 1.2.6, the latest version that came out. And uh, yeah, honestly, I hope you enjoy it. If you're wondering why this pink background is because this game is revolving about the, uh, the legendary Pokemon Mew. Um, also, I need to check something real quick because I have a CoCom that I'm not too sure is actually available. In fact, he's like, like I messaged him right, and I'm not too sure he's available. So I am gonna be right back. I'm gonna ask him real quick. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I suspect that he's not uh, on actually. I think he might just be somewhere else, but that's fine. Alright. That's fine, because later we're going to continue on search of playthrough. Now, last episode, I made it all with the Vipic City. Um, did all the stuff there. I was with Dan at the time. But um, the levels in the gym were quite high, so therefore I had to grind. So now, here's my updated team. And I did incorporate both uh, the Delta Gross and the Delta Sunkern that I have now. So now, this is the whole entire team. Of course, I have my Gardevoir, which I don't nickname, by the way. Uh, Rest Nature, which is perfect for this Pokemon. Uh, Shockwave, Powder Snow, Nuzzle, and Calm Mind. Next up, I have my Delta War Turtle. Real Shot is actually one level away from uh, evolving into a Blastoise. Dark Fairy type, Lex Natured. Uh, not that great of uh, uh, EVs, but I hope to fix that. IV, sorry, but I'm gonna fix that soon. With Bite, Vacuum, Wave, Knock Up, and Cut. Next up, we have Placento, the Delta Grimer, also level 38, Jolly Natured, Step 7 for his ability, with Magnitude, Minimize, Bulldoze, and Mop Bomb, honestly the most OP member of the team. Up next, we have Dexhull, our Delta Crustle, very normal type, yes, I did just say fairy. Careful Nature, which is not that balanced, so he just gets a bit of a one defense, with Dazzling Beam, Metal Claw, Chip Away, and Work Up. Honestly, I also just realized that's not supposed to be a special attacker, huh? Well, that's a bummer. Well, I guess he has Chip Away, so I guess Chip Away is the, gonna be the main uh, move I'm gonna have. Next up, we have Butterfree, the only non Delta member of the team. Honestly, this is gonna wreck house later on. Level 35, Naive Nature, which I see is fine. With Silver Wind, Gust, Sleep Powder inside me. I'm just realized it has um, Compound Eyes, so that Sleep Powder is gonna hit. And lastly, we have our Delta Sun Current, which I just found out evolves through a Firestone. Ugh, rip me. Oh well, because I don't have a Firestone yet. Mild Nature, um, yeah, you can see the stats. Not that great. Um, but at least it has an analytic, so at, at its current state, at least it'll still be good. With Flamethrower, Sludge, Nasty Plot, Will O' Wisp. If you're interested in this game, it is available on the Pokemon Searchers website. I might just put a link to that next time I stream this uh, next week. Um, and you can freely download this anytime you want. It has internet uh, connection as well to do this game and I really love it. Alright, I think it's finally time we head out and I'd like to show you a bit of a strategy that I had while grinding because even though I was using the level trainer that uh, I used the other day, I also was using something called Dex Nav. If you click the D button, there's a click here to scan that's actually your Dex Nav and for any Pokemon you capture you can actually Dex Nav for the Pokemon. Furfro gave a lot of experience, which is why I decided to actually catch a Furfro and then just, well, Dex Nav for Furfro and just keep getting more experience. Pretty much your cheap way of getting more experience in, in, uh, early on. And as I say early on, because boy, later on it gets a little bit tougher. Uh, the level's getting a little bit higher than expected. Trust me on this. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go inside and we'll see what we can find. So, uh, for those who don't remember, the gimmick of this gym is Freeze, which we enter. And boom. For my last should I get an encounter after every gym from the wild area? Oh, you're playing that. Now that you say that, I know some people say, okay, different area in um different area of the wild area get an encounter every time. Of course that gives you a ton of encounters early on, but it does make it a little bit uh, 
but honestly, I think an encounter at every gym might make a lot more sense. So like, every time you get a, uh, get a gym badge, an extra encounter is at wild area. Wild area is considered one encounter, I would say, and then afterwards, once you get into every gym, you can get an extra encounter after that. I feel as though that could be a better way to handle that problem. Anyways, this is a bit of a tree maze. So basically, this is just us going through trees. You think these trees will be a lot more hollow? Just saying. Alright. Can I speak with you for a moment about Arceus? Um, I have an Arceus in my Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke, so go ahead. Out of snow. It's actually honestly why I like this game. Gardevoir, honestly, is the fact that I have flipping, um, like, Shockwave and also high, uh, like, a special attack. Oh, oh, I approve. Anyways, let me just check the routine real quick, because I do not want to switch out. Oh, it's Toxic Spike, so at least I think Janet can't handle it. Ching! Squirrel. Yes, that is a gym, uh, Ozzy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stay in. I don't want to get anyone toxic. Camouflage, it's the normal type. Uh, I guess the Silver Wind then. Boom. Ooh, so close to. Oh my goodness, please don't tell me I'm one experience a point from away from leveling up. That'd be hilarious. Oh wait, I actually missed it. Eleven! Wow, how fitting. Um, That's a dead end tree, because there's no way you can go through. And by the way, this is encounter grass, I believe. Wait, is it? There must be proven wrong there, whoops. So it's not encounter grass, so you can't get encountered inside the gym, sadly. Uh, that's a tree in front of four. That was a tree you went out of earlier, so I guess. And then I want to switch out because I want to have Ryu Sean in front because I want to get this guy level up. So close to evolving. Oh wait, am I ready? I'm ready at the gym. Whoops. I think there's actually a one more gym train around here, I believe. Well, that's where we came out from, so you have to head to the right and up, maybe? Alright, go back to where I started. Whoops. Wait, is that all the gym fitness then? No, can't be, right? Oh, wait, there's a extra pathway. Ah, oh, there it is. The Pokemon, the force of the strongest ones. I won't hear anything you have to say about it. <laughs> He's trying to argue for himself. I think I should be fine this thing. Ah, of course, sleep powder. Let me just uh, run it off, honestly. Especially when I can work out on the second turn and flinch the Pokemon. Twice. Surviper. Warthog looks awesome in this game. It, it does, honestly. Like, when I started on my playthrough, I chose Warthog. Not only because of its design, but also because of the typing. It looks so cool. Of course, caught with the fairy, but that's besides the point. All right, it's gonna evolve next. Uh, uh, next uh, one in. Yes, Aura Spear. Get out of here, Fire Vacuum Wade. I'd rather have a move that always hits. And lots of Roselia. I can actually switch out this time. Um, actually, Flamer actually will help out in this, this case. Once again, it's a little bit bummer that it's still a Sun Current, but later once it gets to the sun, uh, sun Flora, oh, that's gonna be quite good. That's quite, a, quite resistant. Hey, see how much damage that did? It shows how weak the Sun Current is. 
Once again, it evolves by sun, uh, Firestone, so, uh, no, 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 not Lissily! <laughs> I forgot she says that! Alright, and now for the moment of truth. The evolution of Delta War Turtle. I actually know this evolution, so I'll let you guys react to it. Oh wait, wrong, wrong direction. Oh. It's as cool as it can get. Introducing Delta Blastoise. And look at this guy, bad boy following me. Alright, um, that's a tree. Oh, I have two trees to go through. Hmm. Oh, what? No, that's not what I want. Come on. Go back in. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, I didn't want I wanted to switch my team around. Oh, not necessarily back ties. This could be a problem. Yeah, ma. Uh, eh. Might switch out honestly. Not risking it too much. Let's switch in two though. Ah, so I guess this was a flying type. Ah, roar, that's fun to deal with. Faster than me, huh? It looks like a ninja turtle and Bowser had a child. <laughs> Honestly, I can see that to an extent. Um... What should you get, though? What you get, though, may not be able to do much later on the, the gym leader, but oh well. Although, looking at the levels, as I dot all each chip away on a Grub type, whoops. Oh wait, Metal Girl actually would do the done a trick, honestly. Oh, now it's completely weak. Goodbye. And Gatsu was really level 36, oof. And Lost was about a free. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna shockwave it and call it a day. Although I think this should be enough experience to level me up. Bam. Just like me, I'm small but tough. Alright, that takes us back to the beginning, but first... I did see another entrance uh, to the other side, so I'm assuming, as I try to find the entrance... There we go. Now what are the... Oh wait. Huh? Okay, never mind. Apparently I'm missing something? Hang on. Uh... Wait. Oh wait, there it is. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, there it is. There you go, this is what I was thinking of, and yeah, there's one more trainer. Sorry, I need to buy this card. Ah, so cut can only be used after a zone one, okay. Um, yeah, but that's not really going to do much, honestly. Really, the only thing I could probably do um, with is to stall. Oh, this actually might be the one time I wanted to do bring in my ground type. Oh well. That's fine. Safeguard, eh, no. Golbat. Once again, the ice uh, electric type is gonna be my help for. Fine, I probably should nuzzle it. Yeah, I should have nuzzled it. Oh well. Ah! Knew that would happen, honestly. Man, I'll admit, the amount of experience I'm getting is kind of insane. B drill. Okay, this side, I think I'll leave it to Placento. If it dies, then oh well. And once again, this is not a Nuzlocke, this is just a no playthrough. Oh my goodness, that actually do a lot more damage than I thought. Decent magnitude. 
Oh, I almost killed! Oh, that's gonna kill, never mind. I was hoping that he did not do pin missile or if that pin missile didn't kill, but I just realized how much damage that did. Whoops! I'm just switching off flavor, by the way, just for experience. Oh no. Wow, maybe not. Let's just finish it up, shall we? Okay, that plan did definitely did not work. But my Pokemon, I was sweating with fear. Uh, I don't think it's anywhere else, right? Yeah. Okay, now for the tricky part. Trying to get out of here. Because remember, this is a maze. I think... Okay, I think I should be... There, there we go. That's, that's the exit. Once again, remember the red flashing is just to indicate that my Pokemon's poisoned. And just like in Gen 4 mechanics, the poison does fade away after some amount of time. Okay, I should be ready for the gym, honestly. This should be a piece of cake. Hopefully. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty content with this team. Let's wreck some stuff. Let's do this. Also, let me check something real quick. Okay. And by the way, I also forgot to do something. Talk to this guy to get the, uh... Boom. Fresh water. <laughs> Took a while, but he finally gave me a fresh water. Okay, so it's left, I believe. Up, left, up. Go around here. Take this tree, I believe. And then, oh, or actually climb out of it, and then go down, all the way. Boom! Gonna save right before the gym, and this one, um, it's a bit of an interesting gym to say the least. Let's do this. What's good? My name's Xavier. I train Pokemon as a profession. I'm the leader here. You're here to battle? Sweet! I'll take you on whenever you're ready. I'm not as much as a pushover as I look. Plus, I'm a little surprised on my sleeve. Let's get started. Just jumps into it straight away. I'm not gonna hold back. Cue the good music. Also, yes, all six Pokemon. And don't worry, I will speed up the gameplay uh, later on. Just want you guys to listen to this music. Oh my goodness, how long is he going to stall out his shuckle? Well, in the process, he's basically helping me out because I can have chances to increase my attack, so this is fine. Oh my... Okay, he's just stalling this out right now. Right, that Metal Claw she didn't miss the entire time. Krogunk. Okay, this time Placento can definitely help here. Hopefully. This actually might be the only time I think Placento can uh, do something here in this battle. Ooh, I might have, should have clicked Mop Bomb. 
Eh, decent. He might see this. Ooh, that did way more damage than I thought. Oh Malitude 10, I'll take it. I'll take Malitude 10. Center crawl. Oh, zap it. This is a tricky battle I'll make with the moves I have, so this might be a problem. Oh, really? Fine, if you're gonna poison me, I'm gonna paralyze you. Oh, it does have black sludge. Ooh, let me start. Um, knockout would have been helpful here. I'm actually gonna risk it and say he's not going to um, heal, um, poison again and just gonna go to the antidote. Ah, oh, he read me, of course. And this is where I'm probably gonna stall the antidote while he's he wastes toxic. Because I am not gonna waste my time on this. Especially when I can easily get a paralyze on that thing. Okay, it's a good thing I decided not to call mine, because honestly I was thinking it might be a 2 kit KO. So good, Gardevoir's level 37. Arrow Cross. I have a flying type, hopefully this helps. Also, I think this might be the surprise that he was talking about. I think, I may be wrong. No, he's not, okay. Ching! Oh, that was a crit. That was a crit. B drill. Uh, sing it. Oh wait, this might be the surprise. Now I think about it. There it is. Even before we get a Mega Evolution, Xavier has his own Mega Evolution, Mega B drill. Oh, that could do a lot, actually. Uh. Way more damage than I was hoping. Uh, well, I probably should have sleep powder, honestly. That should have been the play. Actually, hang on. I have an idea. I'm gonna hope that Gardevoir is fast enough to do a nuzzle and strong enough, of course, to hold up a nuzzle. Because if I can paralyze it, I probably can at least do a bit of damage to it. Oh wait, I have to take you with some Katen with. Hmm. Oh! Again, just wrecking everything on my team. Um, oh my gosh, what can I do here, honestly? He has Poison Jab. Way more damage than it should! Ah! I need something that at least can tank. Although he might just. Hmm. No, I have no choice. This is actually a very bad situation I'm in. <laughs> How is that fair? Uh, don't ask me. Last Pokemon, I think it's his second last, I think. So this could be Monka. Although the one thing I'm noticing is that he is not healing. Ah! Oh come on! Really? Ah, the one time. The one time, of course. This might just be a gone case, ladies and gentlemen. This might just be a gone case. Yeah, this might just be a gone case because there's no way I can win against him. Unless, of course, I stall out, which I don't think I can stall out with the current situation I'm in. Although... Hmm. 
Let me see if I can. I'm not too sure I can pull this off, but I'll try. Ugh! Did way more damage than I hoped it would. And remember, I can't reset if I fail, so it's not like I'm salty over losing. Besides, this is not a Nuzlocke. This was a Nuzlocke. I'm not sure if I can survive it, honestly. And as a reminder, Mega Beedrill is fast. Also, you can see these, the, what's that, the strategy he has. Sticky, wave up, sticky web up, just so every Pokemon that you have is possibly slower than the Mega Beedrill. So that, yeah, Mega Beedrill is just a sweet good team. But yeah, that mana 2 4 was not fun. Ugh. And I will not be surprised if this is a crit, honestly, just to add salt to the wound. It wasn't, and it was mana 2 7 at least. Okay, if somehow I manage to win this battle, I will laugh. I don't think that's his last Pokemon, which is why I said that. Oh. That could be a problem. It might have Shadow Ball. Yeah, this might be a gone case, because there's no way I can defeat this thing. Unless for some reason I can stall it out. Oh, no, that's a rip case. Because one of those ominous wins will probably, uh... One of those ominous wins will probably, uh... Crit, or boost up the stats. That's exactly 450. And this is where you rethink your levels, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Hanging on for dear life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm entertained though, I'm not sure what other moves he has besides Ominous Wind. Oh my goodness. If he doesn't have Shadow Ball, I might be safe. If he does have Shadow Ball, then this is pretty much just a rip, a rip cause. Oh! I hope that is his last ominous win. I think so. That's as much damage. Great. Yeah, there's no way I can stall this out. That's a rip cause. Unless for some reason he decides to stop doing that. Oh, actually, hmm. I mean, I'm not faster than him. I'm definitely not faster than a Haunter at level 36, right? Oh, bruh. Actually... Could I? I'm not too sure. I mean, I doubt so, but I will laugh if I manage to pull this off. Uh, I just need to switch moves. That's all I want him to do. Come on. If he doesn't switch if he does switch moves right, I might be safe. If he doesn't, then it's pretty much rip. Okay, the last one. If he does that and gleam, then that's a rip. Rip. <laughs> well I'm resetting. And if you're wondering why I was ignoring Aussie Boy, that's why. Because I knew I could just reset. Plus I saved right in front of the gym, which is why. Alright, so now knowing that... Man, that's rough, honestly. Alright, let's try this again. As I said before, the surprise is this Mecha Beedrill. Reset hacks! I mean, that's the strat, right? Um... Attack this thing, honestly. I don't even know. Oh wait, I probably should have. Ah oh, man. Actually. Oh, that's good. Ah. Oh. 
Let me just let me just remind you that is um Let me just remind you that that was um uh quite effective. Actually, I think Gus should do more damage. Come on, please don't wake up. Oh no. Oh! Really? A crit? Ugh. Man, this game is not being kind to me all of a sudden, and that's not good. Haunter. Oh wow, he brings up the Haunter now. Oh, really? Will o -Wiz? Well, at least I'm a two hit KO though. Oh, it's Black Slash. I probably should have knocked off. Oh well. I forgot about that. Shoot. Do I have anything else that helps? Oh no. Trad. That's actually. I forgot about that. Man, that's sticky web. That's like the most annoying thing right now. And honestly, at this point, I think I know the strat I'm gonna do the next uh, next time I battle him. Arrow cross. Ah, boy, this is the time that I wish I had my brother free. Not this time. Again, these normal factors of me and oh, hmm, no, he's not gonna steal. Yeah, never mind. Oh. I was gonna say that's still effective. Yeah, that's still not gonna do much. That was a weird move from him. Also, I don't know why I have something on my mouth. Whoops. Sense of crawl. Surprise is not bringing the big guns yet. At least he's not able to talk to me. Oh boy. Oh! Never mind! I was thinking to myself, okay, he's probably gonna do damage on me. No, misses the muddy water. And that's fine by me. Brings my arrow across. Okay. So here's where I want to set up a little bit. This is going to be cheeky, but I might as well try it. Knowing that he has counter. Oh! We both were thinking the exact same thing. Well, if he has counter, I might as well bomb. Oh, that did it less than I thought. Well, I might have to solve this out then. Oh, especially if he's gonna evasion up. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Wait, now I'm curious as why I have evasion like plus two instead of plus one. Um, and he has plus one evasion up. So weird. Um, Ozzy Boy, this gym is a little bit unique. Where, I said the gyms in um, this game are unique where in a sense that not all the Pokemon are the same typing. They are revolving around the setting like theme. So in this case, the Vivid City gym is revolving around the forest. So it's all about bugs, uh, you see here, so Shuckle, Heracross, all that kind of stuff. Why is he landing these brick bikes? This doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, it's also doing a lot of damage I like to my uh point out. Okay, finally misses a brick break again. This is the most weird this is the weirdest battle ever, ladies and gentlemen. Just stalling out this uh 
Heracross. Oh my goodness, stop landing Brick Breaks! I'm plus 6 evasion, how are you supposed to land those? Ladies and gentlemen, this is why AI cheat is a very common phrase. Okay, sadly I'm gonna have to risk it. Actually hit, oh my goodness. Now the question is, can I stall this out? Can I actually pull this uh, uh, off? Or will RNG say no? I forgot he has Arrow Ace. Well, that's a problem because Arrow Ace always hits. Okay, I have four Pokemon though to at least stall in case. Is he gonna hit Arrow Ace again? Um, how much is that doing? That's the question I have. Or I could just. Hmm. Actually, no. If he's gonna Arrow Ace. No, I actually I have a better idea. I'm gonna stall this thing out until I have better, a good HP to be able to heal once and uh, get back to full HP. And then afterwards I'll just... Uh, magnitude again and hope for the best. Oh, unless of course Ares is not is doing too much. Then that could be a problem. 91 to... 43, that's 48 damage. I'm just gonna stall them out until like, all of, I lose all my potions, so that might not be worth it. So I might just switch out here, unfortunately. Gonna waste a Pokemon, unfortunately, in this case. I, wow, that did way less damage than I thought. Well, good note to self then on that. Yeah, I was gonna say, if he doesn't do poison jab, I'm gonna be so confused. Alright, now for the moment of truth. Did the stall strats work or did they not work? Bulldoze just in case, I don't want it to miss. Crit! Yes! And ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the second gym. Oh, I can't believe you lost as well, my friend. Man, I lost. How do you like my Beedrill, though? That's called Mega Evolution. Pretty impressive, right? Maybe one day you'll get to do it too. Obtain the Stinger Badge. And we obtain TM76 Venashock. As you already know, doubles damage if the Pokemon in when you use, are used, uh, that this move is used on is poisoned. Hail to Helios City for the next gym. The leader there has a gym based around the sky. Good luck. Good luck indeed. And do note, that was just a second gym. Yes, I did. He did just say second gym. That's only the second gym in this game. Hey, are you too well? I've got a letter for you. Some guy in the blue suit and hair left it with me. This letter is for the one chosen by you. We have your friend. We will be waiting in the city top. Come along, or he dies. I hope you don't mind, I took a peek at it. The Fibbicate Dump is just on the other side of the town. Uh-oh, looks like our buddy's in trouble, and I guess we're gonna get through here. Yep, it is only just the uh, second gym, my friend. It's only just the second gym. And if you think about it, if the second gym is that difficult, even with high level Pokemon to an extent, yeah, you can see where this playthrough is going, alright? Hmm. <laughs> Anyways. This team is heading over to the next part, and that is the Vipic Dump. We already heard about the problems about this city, where in a sense that this place used to be beautiful until the dump appeared. And that was when pretty much this whole place went down in pretty much dread. Also, yes, that is definitely. Um, uh... Trap. Why? Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> the reason I'm stopping is the fact that I completely forgot the name of that town. <laughs> Oops. Lavender Town, thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to 
told you well, we've been waiting for you. Oh boy. These guys are back again. Oh my goodness, these sprites are fantastic. Also, that is a Poliwhirl. Oh boy. Oh boy, why do you have Bobby in the forehead? Of course! Seriously? Oh my. <sighs> Again, RNG. Why? <laughs> RNG really just can be a jerk at times, I'll tell you. Scrub, huh? I actually can bring Placenta in. Uh, Placenta will evolve below 38 for this wandering. Matthew 7. Okay, that's a lot better than before when you deal Matthew 4 when I didn't want that. Uh. Oh, hello, I'll take the purple class. Okay, Aussie boy. Um, glad you popped by and uh, see you later. Oh my god, my bomb actually did nothing. Guess I'm switching back to, um... Actually, then again, I should probably switch to Crustle. But again, that is a quad resistant move, so I'll take it. Oof! Sandstorm. Du -du 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 -du. Um... Yeah, let's get rid of my bomb. Not as useful, unfortunately. You walked right into our trap. You say that when I can ex exit out. Not too sure if I can hold your logic, my friend. Uh, let me go backwards. That was some RNG for uh, my Butterfree. Sadly though, that Butterfree is gonna go away soon enough because I'm gonna switch around my team a little bit. Also, um, last episode I also had the thing with the putting the red candy inside there. Unfortunately, I missed the event that was supposed to happen the next day afterwards. So, I'm gonna have to wait until I find like some sort of uh, item I can get put inside here so I can, uh, well, basically, um, get the Pokemon that's inside there. Also, wow, they actually improved the look of the dumps. That's kind of cool. Uh, fun fact, back here, back then it was just litter all over the place. Now it's actual land dumps right here, which is kind of nice. We have your friend. Don't even think about running away. Frogadier, ugh. Sub optimal. Wave. I was like, hey, here's someone that's not, uh. Just stop. Is that you, Ian? Or not? I don't know who that was. Oh. Well. I think I definitely heard someone uh, talking just then, but oh well, never mind. It's fine. It be fine, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just continue on. Um, there's supposed to be some items around here, including a super potion or an ice heal. Never mind. Um, so, say, I want you in front. Actually, wait. I'm trying to get experience on placenta because he's just one level away from evolving. And once he becomes a muck, oh. You think he could beat me? Sorry, kid, but that's naive. I'm the strongest trainer there is. Are you? Clauncher, the start. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. When he swords in right in front of my face, great. Dang it! Of course he would cram hammer, of course he would hit. It's definitely not an area for a ground type.
Go back. Oh. Um, Janet, I want to side beam this thing. Ah, uh, every time Poison Fang hits, I don't know why. Well, Janet's gonna go down to Poison. As he goes to level 37, I'm fine with that. I'm just going to flamer and see what I can do here. Crawdon? Ugh. That was not even a crit. Again, just so show, just shows how weak Sun Current really is, sadly. Fine by that. And last was a Lombre. They can actually just chip away in this thing. RNG really is not kind to me. My goodness, that was a horrid round of descent. Honestly, this game really doesn't deserve enough praise as it really should. It's just sad. So apologies for the earlier uh, like delay. Uh, sorry, delay. The earlier like uh, stutter. I'm not sure why my game all of a sudden like just froze, or my OBS at least like completely stalled out just then. I've got an encounter on here, you can actually get encounter here, which is a stun key. Uh, let me just match to it. Or you can just talk to it first because I... Uh, and of course I get mad at you four for crying out loud. Okay, if that is not a pl uh, a, a RNG plagued round, I don't know what is. That is so dumb. Come on. Are you ready? So I guess we're going forward. Mwahahaha! Soon the Abyssal Cut will be unstoppable! You say that now, my friend. Binocle? Well, you're ground type, so let's see what happens. Or oh, rock type, I should say. Can I stop getting Pat Magnet, dude? Thank you! Much better. Print plop, not steel type anymore, so I need to switch out. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Once again, tired. <laughs> it's how I've been grinding a lot over the past few days. Gun tank. Okay, finally something that ground tank can handle. Ba -na -ba -na. Ba -na. Let's bulldoze it real quick. There we go. And then plan two. Seven. Okay, that's decent. I wonder. Is that enough experience? No, not even close. Don't have to ask me a skit. Oh, what? Alright. One more trainer right there, that's fine. I don't care what my prophecy says. No kid is taking me down! He says that now. Celio, that is gonna. I'm gonna say Salio to you. 
So I don't want to go here just yet. Now, honestly, I think Garmar just might be just the MVP on this uh, round, honestly, because uh, Shockwave and Water types. So this is pretty much going to be a massacre. Seedra. One problem about Garnabar is that it definitely is slow, so I need to remember that. Shift tree, huh. I'm gonna risk it to an extent. So I wouldn't say like all the way, but risk it to an extent. And hope it does not have um, pursuit. It doesn't, sweet. Ah! Really called that to all things. Well, it's not gonna call this though. Whew. And of course, I get a stat boost at the end of the battle. <laughs> well, Santos finally level 38, and he's gonna evolve finally. Welcome, Delta Muck. Submission, ah, uh, no. Let me just show you real quick what Delta Muck is all about. Pro ground time once again. Saps through once again, because remember this only weakness now is water. And now really this thing becomes a beast. The other ability it can have is um is a move that is actually a unique ability at that. Oh, you really think you can take me on? I'm one of the strongest grunts here. That's what the other guy said. Well, sort of. Really can't. Uh oh. I was gonna say that didn't do too much. Oh, back to nine. Yes. Crawled on. Well, at least I can finally switch you out, so now I can just switch to uh, my Blastoise. Weird muck. Hey, Alpi! Uh, that's because that is a Delta muck. I was so glad you enjoyed the stream. I feel a little lonely on here, here that's why. Here's shot level 38. And Alamomola. Ugh. One of the most annoying Pokemon there is. Just because of how bulky it is. Ship away did not do as much as I thought, honestly. Uh, no. Yeah, I had to switch out, sadly. I was hoping I could install all the way, but uh, that is definitely not happening anytime soon. Really? Oh. I comment. The one time I get uh, I switch, I I switch, I get confused. Of course. Sarmi. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm um, I guess I'm biting it. For this, I swear. Well, yeah, technically, because uh, I basically just take money from uh, from him. So basically, uh, he paid for this. Uh, wait, can I go through? It? I don't think so. Yeah, I was about to say that's blocked. And this is basically land field basically becomes a maze now. I should be wondering if how bro it is dark. Why? How can you change the, the setting? Well, there is a setting in this game that allows you to change the brightness of this place. If it can load up, thank you very much. And that is constant daytime. You can turn it off or turn it on. By turning it on, basically the whole screen becomes uh, like daytime. If I, if I turn it on, this happens, and you can see the 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 lamp the the light mines a lot more clearer this time. Of course, we are playing it with, uh, like, carrying on with, um, sorry, 
uh, what's that, the, the time, so that's why it was dark. Which is why you really couldn't see much earlier just then. Um... And once again, um, for you guys, definitely the game would be a lot better with a better with a better uh, like a RAM uh, space in the computer. So that's why for me it definitely looks a little bit slow. But for you guys who are playing uh, along with me, maybe definitely this game feels a lot more smoother. Close to the end right here, I think. Oh my gosh, how many of these grunts are there? Rodia Battle Cult. We worship only wolves at Pokemon, and very soon the strongest of all will belong to us! Simipore. Okay. Yeah, here or not, I think I might just leave it Gardevoir. Gardevoir's gonna pretty much just carry me throughout this entire run from here on out. For me, it looks fine. That's just what I'm saying, because like, some people may find it a little bit too dark, for others it might be just fine, like what you just said. So that's why I was just com uh, comment commentating about that. Also, just realized I might be in a slight pickle because I remember what's coming up next is not favoring the team that I have right now. <laughs> this card looks even more wifey than this. <laughs> I I can agree on that, my friend. I can agree. On that. Um, yeah, actually no, uh, Rio Shawnee Union friend. Your friend awaits you. If you don't do everything we say, well, let's just say he won't be alive to complain about it, hmm? Thanks. That's dark. Once again, this storyline is so dark. I don't care about your smoke screen, always screen always hits. Of course the one time I do a move that doesn't miss, I die. Oh my, what is this RNG? Oh my goodness. And you wonder why I say this game always gets is out to get you. Uh. Jeez, I need to go back and heal again. What's okay, it's just the RNG that something just messes with you and just like, ugh. I believe also that even with different versions, the route that you take to get to the end of this dump does not change. A new seal in the dark? Ooh, that's nice. That's actually nice to hear. Alright, there we go. Uh, whoops. Uh, please, thank you. Like, please move. Alright, I think I'm almost there now thinking about it, so let me just slow down a little bit. And in fact, if I go down here. Actually, no, maybe not yet. Actually, yeah, maybe not yet. I think it's later, but first. Ah, there it is. Save right here. Check that the first two Pokemon are strong because you're gonna need those two strong Pokemon. What's coming up next? Heh, <laughs> so you came. In all honesty, I was expecting you to. We heard you talking about Mew as I was walking by the gym. But you know, someone who has a chance of being the hero of a prophecy and saving the world should be a little bit more careful about what they might say. So here's the deal. You give us Mew in exchange for your friend. D d d don't do it, Joel. I'm not worth it. You know the sad part? That's kind of true. Very well. If you won't give it to us voluntarily, we'll take you out now and take the Mew by force. Cultists, go. Destroys impudent town. Yes, ma'am. Oh boy. A double battle with two Pokemon. 
Which is why I said to bring out your two strongest Pokemon right here, because oh boy. Also, fun fact, I believe these two were supposed to have four Pokemon and not two. So this battle is actually a lot more easier than it should be. I see that releasing myself is probably. Off to a great start. Although I think this should do the trick. I'm pretty sure I have this in normal and not easy. If I had this in normal, then oopsies. But I'm pretty sure I have this in normal difficulty. Oh, there it is. Never mind, it's a, it's a bit of a glitch. Never mind. That's why it didn't show the two Pokemon. Um. Actually, Horror Spear. And you, Shockwave, the Scrub. Not sure why that happens, honestly. It's supposed to show that there are four Pokemon. Um, they have Pokemon with Total Ball, but it doesn't show that, weirdly enough. Ah, never mind, there we go. Um... Woo! Shows how strong my uh, Delta Blastoise is. 4-4-4-0. Four, 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 the two of you are Pathetic. Since you don't seem to be listening, kid, I'll take matters to my own hands. We can convince you, so I'll ask Mew instead. Mew, you're just listen well. This green liquid on the ground is heavily polluted. It is also highly corrosive. Falling to it will kill a person in seconds. Now, if you don't appear on me, I'll put this child dear into the pool. You wouldn't want that, would you? The end of an innocent life? Well, what do you say? Uh oh. Uh, Mew, you, you can't, but. You can't leave you out alone! I like just looking at Damien so uh, pretendingly. Ha ha ha! Pokemon like Mew are far too predictable. Now, Mew, we want these children to stay alive. Come here. It's time for you to leave you all and join us instead. Or, a new Pokemon will come up from the, the shadows. Oh, nice. Is that Shaman? Sea Flare! I, I Shaman Pure Battle Water using Sea Flare ability! That was amazing! What? Shaman? Why is Shaman another of the Pixie Legends here? Did you call Polly for help? We can't take all the two Legends at once! A Pixel Cult! Which for now! Well, Damon, you better believe we'll be back soon! So. Ahem, uh, excuse me. Uh, so, Shaman, huh? Why'd you rescue me? You want to travel with me? But but that's incredible! Does that mean I'm I'm, I'm one of the uh, pioneers of a pixie Pokemon? Plot twist! The kid that has been ignored all this while ends up becoming one of the chosen ones. Wow, I I, I, I didn't think I was that special. But that means the prophecy could be either about me to me or Joel. And now the Abyssal Cult knows that Mew and Shaman have chosen us. We need to be very careful. I can't use Shaman except when it's safe. I need to go find Nora and tell her all the good news! I'll meet up with you later, Joel, and thanks for rescuing me. I appreciate it. Obtain the Shaman DNA. Mew can now use Shaman's DNA to transform and use the Sea Flare ability outside of battle. And as you saw from what happened, um, the DNA sea allows us to use Sea Flare, which allows us to purify water like this. In fact, that water actually has been purified already, preferably because uh, of the fact that, well, Oh, yeah, that blast was awesome. Uh, but probably because of the fact that uh, Shaman probably purified all the water around. Also... Wait, really? Hang on. I know that the encounter's around here. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna do that. Boom. Alright, I know for a fact there's an uh, item around somewhere I can grab. I don't know where how to grab it though, that's the thing. Although, I think going towards the right a little bit more might help. Okay, now that's not gonna help. Oh wait, never mind. Hang on, I need to inspect this place a little bit more. Whereas, where I say inspecting uh, when, I, when we're in a dump uh, place, but yeah. Um. 
Wait, hang on. I need to look through this properly. Ah, yes. Yeah, it's not accessible. Alright, so, fun fact for those of you guys who are watching. In the better versions, there was actually a way to go around that grass patch to the other side over there, where I was searching for, and right there, there will actually be an Ultra Ball. Unfortunately, it looks like they patched that in, and unfortunately, there's no item there, unfortunately. But uh, that's one that you can actually look forward to in the previous versions. This version looks like it doesn't have, unfortunately. As you can tell, I'm very much into my Pokemon studies and um, knowledge, so yeah, enjoy it. Alright, next stop is the next town, which uh, we're gonna go down here to get there. The Crossroads! Literally the Crossroads, because now we can take different paths. Um, actually, not thinking about it. Let me go on this circle quick. Yes, Rare Candy! In fact, I can actually finally, as I talk to this guy, huh? The Pokemon size of myself just now, but I still have to go, man. I do have to do the grocery shopping, cook dinner. Alright, uh, have fun. Oh, have fun, Alpai. I'll see you later. So, here's the thing. I need to time this perfectly, because right here, what happens is that I need to... Save. Do not hand it from the side. Will I try to identify? Yes! Will I need the left? Oh, no. That is not what I wanted to do. I didn't know you can actually leave the leftovers. My bad. What I wanted to leave behind as I reset again. Good thing I saved beforehand, which is why I love the quick save function in this game. Yes. I'll leave the rare candy. And what I want to do is I'm going to wait until midnight. I want to wait until midnight passes and then come back to that, that spot. Because that's something we can do later. There's a really complicated cave system up ahead. If I had the map, I'd love to explore it. Meryl, this is where pretty much uh, I'm gonna get a lot of my experience here because uh, lots of strong trains ahead. I'll just warn you right now. And wow, that's a weird way to put rain. Larvesta. Uh, one time actually, you do not want to have that. Um, it's a bug type. Why not? Now honestly, because of like the trains around here, and because of this, it's gonna take a lot of time. What I will do, since once again, this is just a playthrough. It's not like I'm going to. It's not like I do a nuzzle by any means. I will um, off-screen battle all these trainers. I'm just gonna go straight to the next town to do the next part of the storyline, or slash the next part of the story progression, so that at least I can showcase what's to the next town. Once again, I don't think anyone wants to see a lot of grinding uh, on screen. Off screen, yes. On screen, eh. Don't think you guys would prefer that, honestly. Do you have a map? Could I, could I borrow it? The answer is no, my friend. You can't. And ladies and gentlemen, Route 5. And right here, I'm actually going to just use the surfing mechanic to just skip some of these trainers because I do not want to battle them right at the moment. Although, what I do want to notice is the fact that there's a cave here. You can enter. I have a potion. And right here, we can just surf. Uh, got a great ball right here. I think these guys are actually train us now, thinking about it. In fact, it's a statue, painstakingly detailed. Wow, what a exquisite craftsmanship. It's actually just a guy, that's kind of funny. Uh, oh, it's a. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, this part. Yeah, but this is supposed to be uh, give a Pokemon some sort. Yeah, that's supposed to be a giving a Pokemon some sort, but not to show you're supposed to get it. I forgot they went counters around here. Hello, Riolu. I also just like to warn you right now. Uh, usually, I use the term usually quite a bit. And hmm. Well, first thing I want to mention that right here there was a way you can move these ro uh, rocks around here to get a certain TM. Also.
I was thinking maybe like where the statues collide in terms of their sight, maybe there's something around there. Although this statue doesn't help either. Yeah, they're all these are statues. That's so weird. Anyways. Let's go to the other side. Gonna find a full heal. Uh, yeah, honestly, I just wanna avoid all these trainers because I wanna showcase what's coming up next. Coral Town. Hello. You came around five, yeah? There's a huge mess of caves in this come to Samsara Cave. I want to explore it myself, but you need waterfall to get in deep in. Plus, I heard horrifying stories about that place. People go in and never come out. The statues start appearing that look exactly like them. Ooh, that's pretty much what we saw just then. Um, also just realized, I think I made a mistake with what I was just saying. Will I use bulldoze? Yes, you can use bulldoze to sh shove boulders. And in this case, we can find a cave right here as well. There's some... Right here we have a rock uh, formation right there, and... This thing. You're reminding yourself, this is a weird rock. Well, if we look at this weird rock, a strange set of tiles rests on the pedestal. Oh, hello! Well, okay. More in such as trivia. In earlier versions, this was a slight puzzle. Now, this is pretty much a full puzzle uh, with all the uh, uh, tiles in this time. So let me just get all the corners ready. There we go. And I think this goes here. I have studied this puzzle quite a bit, so that's why I'm fine with doing this again. Um, I think we're close to the picture, I think. There we go! And you may notice there's a Meloetta. That's because you're right, it is a Meloetta. By completing this, we get a mysterious scroll. That is an item that we'll be using a lot, and I mean a lot later into this adventure. And trust me, the reward is honestly worth it if you can find all, all the, these pedestals with these uh, puzzles. Let's just push that out of the way, and let's go around and see what we can find. Unless we can find a great ball. Um. Oh, let me see what back. Okay, good. I just want to check this real quick. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. I'd love to be able to fly over the Torn region like that Brendan kid could back in Hole and only two weeks ago. Who knows? Maybe sometime in the near future I'll be able to do that. Do you know that Drifting drags the soul of children away? Diamond and Pearl, um, what's the thing? Or that Beta is the spirit of a thrown away doll seeking his revenge on his owner? Some people are really are creepier than darker than they first appear. This woman looks like he's trying to figure out how much you weigh. Whoa, let's get out of here. <laughs> it's a creepy uh, thing this year. Is that a stock marker in the corner of the town? What do that? Who would consider running a stock marker in the Pokemon exists? Sheesh, of all things that have around here. Like those cracked rocks around the region, I heard boulders can be pushed by moves too. I heard it has success with steamroller, whirlwind, and bulldoze, but I'm sure there are times more that work. I'm a lawyer, I do lawyer things. If you ever need someone to do lawyer things, I'm the lawyer for the job. Weird fact. Coral is the economic stronghold of the region, that's why we have a stock market here. We also produce all the currency in Torrent. Ah, that's kinda nice. Hey, take this, it'll help you on your adventure. A free dust stone. Hello. A free Pokemon of the cold ones. I said it's really cool. I can really cool me down when it's hot out. When I was holding this today. I don't battle, so maybe you find better use for you than mine. An icy rock. And honestly, right now, you might have noticed that our bag in terms of items is getting quite full. And here comes a million thing I'm a bit picky on with this game, and that is the how slow it is to store your items, especially when you have not a great uh, computer like mine. It takes forever to move these uh, items around, and I mean forever, to be honest. It really takes forever, which is kind of a bummer, considering. Also, I do have my phone is already disconnected to uh, that thing. 
yeah, my phone just disconnected. Whoops. But I think I should be fine with the OBS, so I think the stream should be good. Hello. Have you been to some, some Star Arcade? The bottom part is easy enough to adventure to, but you need waterfall to explore the bulk of it. Okay. Triple is Casmo. Now, before you laugh at me, yes, I know what it looks like. That doesn't make it any less adorable, okay? Trust me, I know some people who actually like cast form. Hello. Welcome to the little old coral town, but not much, but what we have to have we have to share. Look at this Mothum. Aatrock would be proud. Aatrock would be proud of this guy. Coral Town was founded so that we could have access to the rare Pokemon inside of some Sour Cave. None of us know what it is yet though. Alright here, there's water out here we can uh, serve. There's some family that lives in a cave in the desert. They're mining out rocks, gems, and minerals to sell them for money. That's crazy, I could never live off a land like that. Got an Ami Palm right here. Just gonna build a lonely living by myself. Well, at least I have my Pokemon to keep me company. So cute. Anyways, what do we have around here? Them scientists are taking over my coral town. Grr, they're darn club, they're darn trying to educate my kids. Grass my, my metal. Never mind, but I don't like them. A little Laudret. And you're holding a lucky egg! And believe it or not, that's not the only lucky egg we'll find. And also, that's gonna help a ton with grinding. Oh! Ready to tell you guys the woes I, 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 about the grinding this game. The lucky egg pretty much makes it a lot more easier. Let's see, bro. It's all in good fun. Anyone can join and even, even offer prey before doing short favors. Not like they interfere with your adventure at all either. No, they don't. Uh, this is stock market, I believe. Stock market is closed permanently. We are in the process of taking it down. Aww. Have you ever heard of the new moon weather condition? It's only been recently discovered, but it's pretty neat. It's not like the opposite of sunny day. The sky just changes to a pitch black night. That is actually the condition that we experienced back in the cave in Route 1. When the whole place was going to say the sky is dark. That's actually the new moon taking in effect. Powers of Dark and Ghost type moves, but lowest fairy ones. Certain abilities get triggered when that happens too. That's kind of cool. Right here, we can actually use Aura Sphere to break rocks. And we can get hard stones, we can get some other stuff, including if I could get lucky. An encounter. In this case, a rock and roller. And fun fact, it will be the same level, whatever Pokemon it is, it will be the same level as your highest Pokemon. Level Pokemon, basically. And right here we get TM1027 Rock Smash. And yes, I did just say Rock Smash. Watch it because it got relegated to a TM in this game. Kind of a bummer. Uh, I don't really want to do much on this game. Otherwise, I'm fine. What are my friends in the social life? Uh, I'll lay my bitty games. Psst. Shut up. I saw a bunch of priests in town earlier. They're all dressed in green hoods and headed for the desert. I'm almost that was all about. You'll find out soon enough, my friend. You'll find out soon enough. Anyways, could go up there, but I'm not gonna go there in this episode yet because let's just say levels get a little bit higher. I'm gonna grind up to level 44 next episode. Especially if I can find a firestone. Someone can actually send me a firestone, that'd be nice, honestly. But also play insurgents. I'm trying to see what else I can find around besides rock and rollers nose passes. You know, what? actually, I will not pass on this thing. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Just yawned and all of a sudden, just just broken the song. Boom. Guess that's all 38. Play rough, finally. A physical um, fairy move. I'm gonna have fun sorting out these Pokemon later on. Yeah, nothing, unfortunately. 
Um, what I want to do, however, is I want to actually enter and exit the house. Just so I can respawn those rocks, because you can actually get some pretty sick stuff if you get lucky. Including, hopefully, if I can find it. Fossils, like a sail fossil. Old Amber, nice. Helix fossil, that's also nice. More encounters, this is another, this is a Geo dude. But I just realized it's actually not the uh, level the highest level Pokemon on your team. Carb Ink, nice. Uh oh. Metal Claw, she might not kill in this case. Yep. Oh, bruh, actually, I might just catch this. Honestly, recommend you try and catch as many Pokemon as possible, especially with the decks. Oh, this actually might be hard to catch. Oh my god, I was just yawning like crazy. I didn't mean to run, trat. So you have to be something to be careful with the controls because sometimes that can happen. Ugh. Actually, hang on. Wait a minute. There you go. Then you can see here now we can actually buy ultra balls and hyper potions. Shows that the, the game developers realize that uh, you're gonna be facing a lot of strong stuff later on, so they decided to give you all this. Alright, and also let me just remind you how many fossils I have now. Like, look at this tail fossil, old amber, two eight fossils, an armor fossil, a dome fossil, and a claw fossil. Just how many fossils I just got, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna do one more pass before I do what I actually want to do next. The one encounters, I just want to get stuff. Oh, oh, my bad. Hell, I am recording this in late, uh, late time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Okay, that's the last pass I'll do at the moment, because you actually can get some good stuff, like even an IV stone, by the way. <laughs> Alright, now for the thing I actually want to do, and that's this thing. Welcome to the Scientist Club. If you're a Pokemon trader, we'd love to help you give us a hand. Not all of us are experienced battlers. Hello? Many of us knew Rukura before he became a cult leader. He was always a bit strange and never got along with his family. He was definitely a project, though. Know? So he fights dogs more one their ecosystems. It's quite an interesting field. The only hard part is finding these dogs in the first place. It's funny how Megastones work. It's mostly one of the most interesting topics I've seen. I'm trying to experiment and see if I can create a Megastone myself. Hello. Hi there, I'm the Leader Scientist Club. If you ever wanted to see the behind the scenes, I'm sure we can find a project for you to help along on. Well, what do you say? Do you want to join the Scientist Club? Yes. Great, we're glad to have you join us. We actually have a mission you can start off with. Basically, uh, well, we have a lot where we're running experiments on very ancient Pokemon. However, just a few hours ago, one of the Pokemon escaped and now it's freeing all of them. It's gonna be havoc. Can you deal with them? Not being traitors, we don't care getting close to them. We still got plenty locked out, so even just catching them and making them faithful help us out immensely. Sure. So right here, we just have to defeat all these Pokemon that are running about. Now, remember, we do have the fossils, so... Also, even killing them is fine, honestly. And besides, remember, these things are very low catch rate. So honestly, not worth it to catch them at the moment. So just paint them, although there's one in which that is worth it, as you'll see. Oh yeah, just running into them actually does the trick. Forgot about that. Man, this Lilip didn't want to counter me. 
The image tip away already does uh, the damage. Dang it, this Omen Knight really didn't want to encounter me. Hang on a moment. Oh, wait, what was the opposite of the Claw Fossil? I don't remember. Armor Fossil Shield on, Claw Fossil, and Ref. Um. Actually, I think I, think I probably should have catch Caught One was the lead, but that's fine. Alright, I was gonna say, keep running to me, uh, Archon. Actually, hang. Oh no, that's gonna kill. Never mind. I was about to say, I wanna try catching this, but I just realized the problem with it doing that. Alright. Time for Garbar to join in and just do nuzzle on this thing. Oh, wait, there's one more Archer. Uh, come back here! That'd be fine, that'd be fine. Alright, now to deal with the main guy who has been releasing all these Pokemon. Because the Bootos has a strange metal device attached on his back. Alright, we'll nuzzle do the trick. Definitely, look at that. Oh boy, my shot. Okay, Shockwave is definitely gonna kill in this case. Oh! Might actually be able to catch this, although it's gonna take a few Ultra Balls, probably. Nice! First try! First try, I'll take it. Oh, thank goodness. Notice that she disappeared, she appeared out of thin air. That Kabuto was the cause of all our problems. His the enclosure was trying to free the rest of them. Let me just remove this machine from it. There, I think we can chalk that experiment out to a failure. Never mind, we can deal with the cleanup from here. Thanks for all your help, Joel. Take this as a reward. Free K. We call you on your Poké if we need anything from you. And yes, they actually have more missions for us later, but not now. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, even though I know I uh, said about the um, Pokemon uh, earlier on, actually, then again, I'll just have to wait 20 30 minutes. Um, so I think, you know what, I'm gonna spend the rest of the time battling Trina. So honestly, for now, uh, you could just hang around and just talk to me or tell me, ask me stuff, all that. So, yeah. You can do your whatever you want. Just to ask me anything. We'll be definitely willing to uh, accommodate for a question that you will have. I'll tell you, they paid a fee of 14 billion Poké Dollars. Man, why do I only have Ghast? Pretty weak at this point in time. That was not even a crit, oof. Holy Rav. Um. Yeah, it's fighting time. I can just easily destroy it. Also, I just realized now that I'm doing this that I forgot to showcase something that we can do now that we have uh, Sea Flare. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! That's uh, lucky. Submission misses and I wake up on the second turn. So that's an instant level up. Oof! I wonder what you have to say for yourself. You can go in for free, I lied. <laughs> Remember how I said you how you had to pay 40 billion Pokédollars dollars to get into Coral Town? I lied. <laughs> Oh, 
What else can you find around here? I think you can find Servines, Luxrays. Woof! Roar, but it failed. Really? Thank you. Woof! Level 39. My neck, touch it! <laughs> That's a weird sentence to say out loud. Ooh. Of course it lets a high jump kick. Of course it's a crit! My goodness, not having any luck so whatsoever. Oh, but it's a speed tie, I just noticed. Oh, great as Moxie. That's fun to deal with. Risk something right now. Yeah, again, Sunker is just so weak right now. That's why I'm not surprised everything is just not working out for him. Soon enough though, soon enough. Once I get a Firestone, I think this thing is going to be a good, a nice beast. Was my neck rough? Get it? I'll run back again. Also, I think we'll, I'll be able to take a uh, kick out all these trainers before I end up the episode, which is nice. I only we had to poke, uh, what's that, the experience share, right? <laughs> So I just noticed the Ultra Ball inside the grass. Something that's just a little bit hard to find at times, so it might take a while for you to realize. Oh wait a second, that's an item I can collect. You don't want to go to some Sour Cave. People have been scared to go to this as long as I can remember. There's something scary in there. I'm not sure I'm supposed to trick it out, honestly. I do know that's supposed to be a new Pokemon we can find. As another silver wind boost scroll pool is, is, uh, is, is triggered. Oh boy, where is the quicker, da quicker dance? So many stats! Emolga. Mm, I'm faster. Which is why I decided to do that. You gotta be kidding! Jeez, it's like a soul that this game doesn't want to throw me a bone. Of course. Yeah, that's not gonna do much, much now. Man, again, this kid, this kid doesn't want to throw me a bone today. Ice beam, finally! I don't need to use powder snow anymore. Far throw, finally. Uh, 40, 40, 39, 39. Let's bring Placento. Uh, of course, the one time that I get rid of my bomb. I was gonna say that had to be a crit. Come on, I wanna have a number above seven right now. Really game <sighs> Thank you, finally. Man, this game once again, not throwing me any bones whatsoever.
Last trainer around round five. And that's still all the crossroads Pokemon I need to the uh, trainers I need to feed. It's fine by me, Metal Claw's pretty much gonna do the work. Probo Pass. Uh... Or a spear. This that should do the trick. Also, not going well. Once we are, we're 20 minutes left into the uh, to the plate uh, to this episode, I'm surprised that I've not triggered my um, what's that? Uh, my wires accidentally. Eh, not much difference, honestly. Oh boy, South Rock. It's gonna be me mashing Z for the next few seconds. Again, just me mashing uh, um, Z for the next few seconds. That's all it is right now. Just mash, 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 done. <laughs> I also noticed that this guy's name is Kyle. It's kind of nice. All right, finally can get out of here and uh, let's see here. Rebel you. So we have that trainer. We have that trainer. And is that really it? Oh wait. Well, okay. Even more Pokemon Studies trivia for you guys. Last time. In previous patches, as I get an encounter here. Well, that was actually, well, that's actually a pretty good Pokemon to have at level 33, honestly. Thank you. Back in original versions, this was not stairs. Last time, that was a rock climb, uh, um, like, spot. Now they actually release it with stairs, which probably means we can actually access this place a lot earlier than before now. Welcome to the Misty Way. Once again, as I like to say, an area that we're not supposed to access last time, but now more accessible than ever. In fact, I'm actually gonna use a repel here, and I just saved. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's supposed to be some strong Pokemon around here, if memory serves me correct. Oh, what's this? A strange set of times rest on the pedestal. Ah, that's number two, and this is a different kind of puzzle. So let me just have to put the um, tiles inside it instead. Uh, let's try. And also another part, bit of uh, Pokemon such as trivia. Last time, um, in earlier versions, all puzzles relate. Uh, all of these Melon Wetter puzzles were the same puzzle, slide puzzles. That was it. Which I think was a little bit boring at the time, but now at least it's a. Uh, Different kind of puzzles. Like the first one was a slide puzzle. Now it's just a uh, fill in the uh, sorry a puzzle jigsaw puzzle basically. Also, this is a lot more smoother than before. I like to mention. Done. That is mysterious scroll number two. Here, I think that's it's just like some fencing around here. I think yeah, look at that, just fencing all around. Just not too sure what it's all about. That's where we're off. Yes, I don't need to repel this time. Boom. Nothing much around this area, honestly, besides the uh, Meloetta puzzle, so let's go back up. That's probably why they finally opened that area up uh, to using stairs finally, instead of uh, restricting it to a rock climb area. Which I very appreciate, honestly. Especially with the fact that that area, honestly, very, very off the... off... Um, how's it is? Very, very... off the rails, basically, because like... 
you wouldn't actually remember this place after you um, move away from it. Once again, that might just be me, but just saying. Of course I miss. And he has counter. Ooh. Might work out. Let me just work out one more time. Let me just work out one more time. Yeah, this thing just keeps on doing that. Alright, play rough. Goodbye. Easy taking. Crow gunk. I think it took away my just kill it, honestly. What I tell you? Nice thing about having setup moves. Gretz was level 41 now. Infernape. Oof. Oh, I might have a slight problem with this, essentially. Hmm. I wanna say it. I'm actually gonna use a hyper potion this time on Placento. Ah! That did not kill at all, did it? I find that hilarious. I also find it hilarious that I can easily knock out of the Furnade despite being normal damage. That is hilarious. Alright, 15 minutes left. Well, it's still, it's still stalling this out. I just have one more train in life, that's why I say that. Hey, check out my super awesome rare Pokemon. What do you have? Radicate. Man, I just keep getting Manitou 7 for some reason. Ah, of course, Super Fang. And of course, you get Manitou 10 afterwards. That's so sad. Binda, I wanna say it. Of course. Of course, come on. Really? That comet. Oh my goodness, are we really doing this? I literally had so much of problems with magnitude the last time I used it. Oh my goodness, come on. I am not giving up on this one. Oh my... Come on! Freaking RNG. Ugh. Disgusting. Unless it was a swallow. I'm gonna say it actually. That did way more damage than I thought. Oof. Easy prey. Get it? Because it's a bird? Never mind. Alright, now. Actually, I wanna use another repel because I need to check something real quick. Okay, there was nothing there. Alright, so now I can actually use the repel. Around here somewhere, I think. Yeah. Try a little bit further up, if I'm mistaken, and you can use it. Because if your eyes were sharp, as I check to see if I've done a with this grotto yet. Nope. That's a great ball, I'll take it. Do go to the great balls, honestly. It likes the great balls. Do go to, to the um, hidden grottos every day, honestly, because like they all give you good items. Very worth it to, to spend some of your time just to check every single grotto every day. Just so they get good items. Anyways, um 
that real quick. And then afterwards, we'll do the thing I was talking about. Oh, Ueva! Hey, welcome back. This caught me at the tail end of this end of uh, this episode, to say the least. All right, I believe it should be around. Yeah, here it is. So we have some murky water. What do we do with it? Well, we register the quartz food first. Whoops. And boom! The water has been purified. We can get through it. And on the other side is more encounters, apparently. Two starry at once. Ten forty-four rest. Is game always that fast, or is it just me? Well, I can set it to be fast, or I can set it to be slow. The reason why I want it fast is I just want to get through this quickly. But I can also just set it to be very slow as well, like this. Now does the game feel slow, my friend? Ooh, I actually want to catch you. Yeah, now it's normal mode. Now it's sped up mode. A regular Charmander. I'm just gonna keep sandstorming or, or what's that? Uh, minimizing. So what I want to do is actually catch this Charmander, that's why. Okay, actually that did less damage than I was hoping that it would do. Um, I guess I could put it to sleep. Is it an official Pokemon game? No, this is a fan game. Which is why I've uh, categorized this game under games and demos, because this technically is not uh, one of the main stage Pokemon games, and if I put it as one of them, I am cheating, basically. Oh, come on, the first one! That gum it. Come on, please, Ultra Ball work. Thank you! For once, RNG is actually kind in this case, because once again, the RNG can be a little bit dumb when it comes to catching Pokemon. And once again, if you wanted to get this game, it's a very awesome fan game. Check out uh, the Insurgents Pokemon Searchers website. It will be a link to let you download the core game version 1.2.6, which will allow you to pretty much play the game for yourself. This game has internet connections, tons of Pokemon, lots of new cool features that you want to uh, take advantage of, and many more stuff. Over 900 Pokemon are in this game for your information. Alright, the reason why I'm stalling is the fact that I have 8 more minutes till midnight and that is when I want to trigger the cutscene I want to do. So, um, anyway, if you want to get this game, honestly, very recommended. Uh, you can uh, download it right now through the website. I mean, here's the thing though, I would agree, like, it's like... If you catch a Pokemon that's dead, it's a corpse, and you can't use it anymore because it's dead. Um, hmm. What should I do next? I mean, honestly, there's not really much I can do except that I think about it. Let me try catching the Rotom again. Oh well, second try. I'll take it. Uh, let me. 
let me... You know, let's try. Let's put Janet here and try. Oh my goodness, really? Oh wait, I thought Janet was dead. Hang on. Forest. I'm trying to see if I can catch this uh, Rotom, which is why I've been trying to uh, set this up. Might be the only time I can catch it unless the sandstorm uh, stops right there. Well, the Pokemon is level 41 because it's the highest level Pokemon on my team, level 41. Which is why you're seeing it as level 41. Oh my goodness, again, RNG. And so it's so Phew! I'll take it. So, depending on your team, the Rotom will be of a different level. Yes! Finally caught my first Rotom. Definitely gonna have a lot of Pokemon to sort out, honestly. It's gonna be fun. Also, uh, I'm sure you know where, why, how the me knocking down a TV and getting a Rotom is a reference to. And if you don't, then I'll be, then I'm surprised. Not really, but more so the reference is Generation 4, where in the Old Chateau, you knock down the TV to get a Rotom uh, to appear. I'm sure you remember that from Diamond Platinum and uh, Pearl and Platinum, right? But anyways, um, that should be it on what I want to do. I want to just catch that Rotom at least redeem myself. But other than that, I'm pretty much just stalling because well, one thing, last thing I want to do now is just to go to... Um, the last thing I want to do now is just go to Vipic City and activate the events, and I only have to do it once it's midnight. I'm not a Pokemon person, don't worry. Not everyone is, but I really want to share this game with, uh, to those around, like, to uh, the audience, because honestly, this is a fantastic Pokemon game. Pokemon fan game at that. Also, I'd like to mention that um, even though I've been looking at the Brawls for so long, every time it responds, um, the chances of giving an item in Pokemon is actually fixed. So if I'm not mistaken, if it's an item, it'll be like one of the items, and if it's a Pokemon, it'll be a, ch a certain chance of being a certain Pokemon, and so on and so forth. Pretty much your standard um, chances when it comes to getting Pokemon um, in Grottos, in Black 2, White 2. As I said before, I'm honestly just stalling because really there's not much. I can do. I'm just stalling until midnight because I need uh, once the midnight comes, I can finally have the event happen. In fact, let me just check them real quick. Nothing's touching off me so far. Okay, I just have to check that real quick. Because once it reaches midnight, then I can go back and trigger the event of getting the Pokemon that spawns there. In the meanwhile, I'm just exploring the whole place. In fact, I'm actually going to go back into that Samsara cave because I want to check if it's actually possible to get the Pokemon that's there. In the meanwhile... Oh! Hello! I'm not too sure that was a cheerleader, but uh, it might be. Some of the sprites were just taken from previous games, so that's why some of these sprites might be a little bit familiar. Sam, Sarah, Cave. Wait. Alright. 
Once again, I have my Pokemon notes with me just in case I want to note some things, including that statue that we just saw around there. The far off statue, not thinking about it. All right. It's such a Pidgeotto, but it looks different. The metal is cold and hard to the touch. Ooh, spooky. Okay, I don't think we can do this yet. I might have to check um the wiki to see if I can actually get the Pokemon here. But for now, it's actually approaching midnight. And I actually can do this event. Once because all of a sudden it doesn't do it, then uh-oh, then I might be in trouble. I might have to do it off screen, sadly. Okay, it's finally midnight. So now, I want to run back to Vipic so that I can actually have the event triggered. Also, I need to save real quick, just in case. Let's see here, is the event triggered? Yes! If you see right there in the, um, right there, there is a Pokemon, and that Pokemon is a... The starter Pokemon attack! A Delta, Whoopa! level 30, so at least it'll be easier to catch than before. And this is where I get a little bit scared, because I'm not sure how to catch this thing properly. I'll take the fact you just boosted my attack. Um, it's a pumpkin, yes it is! Yes, yeah, because it is a pumpkin. Let's see if I can catch it with Ultra Ball. I doubt so. Never mind. Alright, hopefully at least I got that out of the way. I was a little bit scared about uh, getting uh, being, not getting able to get this. And look at that. Grass fire. Now that's a fire type being able to do a save to myself. A Delta species discovered by Echo the Third. This mischievous Pokemon likes to surprise people on Halloween with tons of candy. Uh what should I name this Whoopa? Um Actually, Waver, any any ideas for a uh, nickname for this Pokemon? Pumpkin, Halloween, Whoopa. Do you think you can link these three together? Check in the chat to see if he says any, if you say anything. Uh, you're not sure. Blah. <laughs> yeah, he's just not actually. Pumpkin, you know what? Actually, that makes sense. I like it. I like it. I'll be honest, I like it. Alright, and ladies and gentlemen, with that, I'm gonna stop things right here. So, what I'm gonna do is that off screen I will grind this team up to level 44. Also, I'm gonna see if I can find a Firestone to get that, uh... I'm gonna see if I can get the um, Firestone from, uh... What's that? How's it? I want to see if I can get the Firestone uh, to revolve that Delta uh, Sun Current that I have. But I'll definitely get the team up to level 44, and then next time we'll head up to the next towns onwards to Helios City, which is our next gym town. But before I end it off, I'd like to make an announcement because tomorrow will be uh, it's a Friday, and I decided to shift a Friday from the usual Tetris and Pokemon to a Super Metroid Link to the Past slash a link to the past randomizer, um, like stream instead. Where instead I'll be streaming a lot later. I'll be streaming at 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. instead. And for those, uh, if you're curious, and I have just recently changed the layout of the SNES emulator, and here's a preview of what it's gonna look like. Have fun with that. But anyways, with that, uh, since for tomorrow will be Pokemon, will be uh, Super Metroid Link to the Past randomizer. I have two more seeds to finish before I can say I finish up all the seeds I have in my backloggery. Hope you guys will enjoy, uh, see you then. Without further ado, this is me, Leap the One Two One, signing out. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.